Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to get a 3D model from Blender into your Gary's Mod folder. First, you will need Blender and the so Blender source tools zip file. Both you can download from the links in the description below. Next, you open Blender go to edit preferences install you go to the folder where you have your zip file install um, saved click on install add-on I already did that and then it shows you only this one you check it you're done now we come to the modeling part first I will remove the cube I add a new mesh a UV sphere. I rename the collection to pumpkin since I will try and make a pumpkin. I rename the sphere into pumpkin and this thing over here where I don't know the name. Object data properties. Okay. Now I will scale it up since otherwise it will be too small to properly see in the editor the hammer SDK I mean um, and then we go to sculpting let's enable the mirroring let's add some here some here uh, actually move it a bit there we go looking good now let's disable the mirroring again modeling let's move it up and press s to scale it down in height and let's move it up a bit. There we go. Let's keep it selected. Now for the UV map, just smart UV project. This will create the map on how it's uh, projected on the texture. And now we go to te texture paint. Here we will need to add a new material. So you go to here, material, and you call it as well, pumpkin. Next, we go over here, single image, new, okay. Now I will select the bucket, take orange, and fill it in. I will add a little bit of orange accents over here just so it's a bit different. There we go. Good. Now we get to the end, uh, the part where you will export it. Here you have to select SMD. You define a path and done. You click on export, select pumpkin.smd for my case at least. And then you go to the folder where you have it. This one. Next you will need the QC file for this model. I have already prepared it, but to give you an example, here is what it would look like for a different model. So you can see it's just the name cube or pumpkin that changes according to which model I want. This indicates the folder inside your Gary's mod folder 
which will be custom to however you like to use it. You can leave it out, yet that makes it messy to find your own uh, custom files. Next, you will need the bat file over here, which looks like this for me. For you, you need to replace the G double point with C double point program files or wherever you have your Steam installed. So you fetch these, move them over, and there we go. And I'm really relieved right now because this is the fifth time I'm doing it up until this point and then it fails saying too many materials. For whatever fucking reason, I don't know. So, now that the files are in that folder, you will see that over here uh, there's still a leftover from an earlier example. Hang on. We can ignore these. And these files were just now created based on our Blender model. Now for the textures, you can see over here that's the other folder. Uh, there are no texture folders yet, which means the pumpkin will look bloody naked. So to avoid that it looks naked, you need a VMT file, which you can create based on another file. Or you create, uh, hang on, wanted to rename it to pumpkin. There we go. Let's open this again. And here you just need to replace the word cube with pumpkin. Oop. There we go. Save and done. For the VTF file, you can go into your Blender, where I, at least for myself, drew this magnificent picture. Save as. You just save it as a PNG file. You can call it pumpkin if you like. And done. <laughs> now. For the next part, you will need to get a plugin for GIMP or for Paint.net, which will allow you to save pictures as VTF files. Uh, I don't think I have it open still. Hang on. Yeah. The link for this is down below in the description and it will basically um, bring you to a link where you can download this zip file containing these files. The README, it explains you exactly where you need to put the, the files for Paint and for GIMP. So that's as well, very simple. I don't need to explain it further, I guess. Now here we need to open the newly saved pumpkin.png. It looked like this. You can just save it as with shift, control and S. Here you select VTF and done okay and now you got your vtf files or file and the vmt i created a little mover myself with another but file which just makes it easier for me here it's the same path again here it goes to uh, C double point program files for you in most cases. And for me, it's G double point, this folder. Both go into the materials folder. 
Let me show you. This one is empty as of right now. And once I move them over here, ah, it will move as well the other one. And now we have the files in here. Now let's get started in the Hammer SDK. I have created a basic folder. I don't know why there is already something here. We go to an entity, place it, and then here you set it to prop underscore static. Oh. There we go. You click on apply. And then here you select your model by double clicking. You have to go down. Hang on, I will just scale it down a little. There we go. You go down to your folder. For me, it's Varmin's models. You select this, double click, apply, and done. I thought it was a little bit bigger, but that we can fix later. Now, to give you the proof that it works, let's not run or open the game as it's already opened. Seems to be finished. Let's go new game in here. Da, 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 da. And there we have our pumpkin. Here right now it's just a cube collider. Since that's just basic, it doesn't look exactly beautiful. Yet we can work with it. Oh, wait, I can actually disconnect. Now, to make it bigger, Let's close hammer as well. The texture is already here. And I think we can just go back to the modeling and then scale it some more. There we go. For the colliders, you can go over here, rigid body passive and that's it I I'm no expert on this so that's the best I can do for you guys as of right now now we export it again go over here you select these two again studio MDL dot but it's done we Go back into the, Gary's m uh, the Hammer SDK. And here you can see it's slightly bigger. I will do it some more. So I want a really big pumpkin. And then over here. file in there and you can see it adapts when the files are already present oh, I apparently left a second one in there which is absolutely fine with me there we go okay so Let's go. Oh, let's go ahead and run the compilation once more. Now we go back into the game. And apparently the models have vanished. 
can't believe it. Hang on. Yeah, let's move them up a bit. There we go. Just once more, just to be sure I run. There we go. Don't know if I can see. No. Seems all right. Okay. Somehow he doesn't like to have that, it seems. Hang on. Uh, let's actually close the game. And the editor. <laughs> this might take a few seconds or a few more. There we go. Uh, da, 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 the rest seems fine. Okay, let's go back in here. Load up the map. And let's put this one into the ground. And over here. Good. Now I will as well add a little cube. Come on. Oh, wait. Uh, da, da, da. It's been a while. Apply. Ah. Dang it. There we go. Let's shrink it actually down a bit. Ah. There we go, run, let's run the game as well. There we go, now you can see the models as well. You see they don't have only a cube anymore. It goes actually up and down a bit. And that's basically how you get all this in your world. Good luck, have fun, and sorry for the crap at the end with the troubleshooting. <laughs> but if you work with it, you will discover it more and more yourself. <laughs> uh, let me see if I haven't missed anything. Where is it? There. So the Blender file link is in the description source tools description qc file but files and the vtf example uh, explanation as well good 
Um, I will just as well include the V. Um, what was it? VMT file. All right. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. And for the rest, leave a like or subscribe or whatever you decide. Have a great time.